complication of the halo. Halo orthosis provide the most rigid form of cervical spine external immobilization and it is very good for upper C-spine injury such as odontoid or hangman fracture or Jefferson fracture. It is not ideal for the lower cervical spine injuries. Although the halo is helpful, however, it has several complications. Number one, pin loosening. Loosening is about 36%. If the pin loosens, it can be treated by retightening. If it continues to loosen, remove that loose pin and put a new one. Exchange that pin in a different location. Number two is infection at the pin site. If infection occurs at the pin site, bacterial culture could be obtained, the proper antibiotic and meticulous pin care should be started. If infection is resistant to treatment, the pin site can be changed with the insertion of a new pin in a different location. Number three, over penetration of the pins. Pins should only penetrate the outer table of the skull. Inner table penetration can lead to dural penetration. And if infection occurs, it can have brain abscess. Number four, loss of reduction. Redislocation with halo immobilization occurs in about 10%. More rigid, open reduction and internal fixation should be considered. Number five, difficulty in swallowing, usually due to placement of the head and neck in hyperextension. The halo would need to be readjusted to relieve this problem. Number six, halo in the elderly is not advisable. Some people think it is a death sentence for the elderly. Some of these patients will have a respiratory failure and cardiovascular collapse. Mortality rate is high in elderly with a halo. It's probably better to put a soft color or neck brace rather than the halo. The complication is probably more related to the underlying disease process. Number seven, supraorbital and supratrochlear nerve palsy. Proper placement of the pins should avoid this problem. Number eight, abducent nerve palsy. It is the most common injured cranial nerve with the halo. It occurs to cranial nerve number six injured by traction. It innervates the lateral rectus muscle, so the patient will get diplopia. You will have loss of the lateral gaze on the affected side, and the treatment is usually observation. It will resolve by itself. This video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.